What is going on everybody and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be giving you an introduction into custom editor windows in Unity. Talk a little bit about why they're useful and kind of show you some uses of them. So for today's video, I've created this custom editor window tool, which is going to allow us to spawn these demons. We can spawn them kind of with some default values or override those values if we so choose. In this video, I'm not going to be going over the code and how I actually built this tool, but if you are interested in playing around with it a little bit for yourself, you can go ahead and click the link in the description to download this custom editor window tool. Also, if you kind of understand the idea of custom editor windows already and want to get started making your own, I've created another video that just kind of introduces the coding of these topics, um, how to set up basic fields and buttons and things like that. Uh, so go check that out. I'll leave a link in the card as well as in the description below. But before we get into it, I'd just like to say if you found this video helpful, make sure you leave it a like and also feel free to subscribe to the channel for lots more Unity tool tutorials like this one. Of course, if you have any questions for me or suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave those down in the comments section below. All right, so before I get into what a custom editor window is, let's talk a little bit about just what a regular editor window is. So if you're at all familiar with Unity, whether you know it or not, you're probably already familiar with editor windows. So of course, this is the Unity editor, and you'll see that we have all these different little windows. So over here to the right, we have the inspector, here we have kind of the project view, here we have the scene hierarchy, and these different parts, these are all editor windows. And you'll see that on these editor windows, there's kind of like a little tab on here. Um, and if we want, we can kind of move these around so we could say put the hierarchy on the other side of the project and you know we can kind of resize them we can also combine things so if we want to put the hierarchy and project view on the same one and just kind of switch back and forth between the tabs we could do that and also we could pop these editor windows out and we can kind of get uh, an actual floating view so we can resize this to whatever we'd like and just kind of put it to uh, you know wherever it is easy for us. So that's an editor window. And of course we can go up to this windows tab here and open up uh, different editor windows. So for example, if we wanted to open up the animation window, we could click that. And so now we have this animation window. And so the idea is pretty much exactly the same with custom editor windows. So for my custom editor window, I've actually created a new menu item called tools. And so we can click on this and we can open up this enemy spawner tool that I've created. And if you watch the video where I show you how to code everything, I show you how to uh, add your custom tools up to this menu bar, it's pretty simple. So we can just click on that. And now you see that we have this custom tool that I've created open. And so with this custom tool, you'll see that there are a lot of features that are very similar to other things that you may have used in the Unity Inspector or something like that. So this first one here, for example, it's the enemy prefab field and it wants a game object. So we can drag any game object prefabs into this little space here. Let me go ahead and delete all these enemies from the scene here and I can kind of demonstrate this tool a little bit. Now, before I actually drag a game object, into this enemy prefab field, I just want to show that these windows are kind of dynamic. So for example, you'll see that I have this spawn enemy button here and it's, it's grayed out right now. And so we can't click on it. And the reason for that, I gave a little warning message right below and it says, please assign a prefab game object in the enemy prefab field. So when we go ahead and grab a prefab and bring it into the enemy prefab here, the demon prefab is in the enemy prefab field you notice that little warning message went away and now we can actually spawn our first enemy. So we can just click spawn enemy and you'll see that an enemy spawns and we can do another and another one spawns. So the idea behind these custom tools is that we can hide a lot of complex behavior and monotonous tasks behind just a simple little button here. And so we can use them to start to do really cool things. So for example, I have this checkbox for customized values and you'll see that when I click it, it opens up and expands and now we have three different fields that we can customize. So for example, we could change the scale of this. So we'll change it to two. So this is the actual size of the enemy. So he's going to be double um, because he's a little bit bigger. We'll give him a higher health of say 250 and then we'll give him a slower speed of three. So we can go ahead and click spawn enemy here. And you'll see that now an enemy spawns with these customized values that we just set super easily. So I hope that you all can start to see how we can kind of use these tools in really useful ways. And this simple little tool that I have right here is just barely scratching the surface of what we can do. Um, so I don't have these two fields set up, but I just kind of wanted to show them off. We could set like a color value if we wanted. So we could say, you know, pick a green and close it out. 
Um, and then this animation curve, we can open it up and we could add different keys on here. And then so you could create some curves that would allow you to change certain behavior of certain objects or different things in your game. Now, one of my favorite parts of custom tools is that once you have it built, pretty much anyone can use it. So for example, this simple little tool that I created, it wasn't all that difficult to make. And if you kind of understand the basics of custom editor windows, you could throw something together like this in you know maybe 20 minutes. And not only will this save you time when you wanna to go to create, say, all these new enemies with your enemy spawner tool, but you can pass this tool on to anyone on your team and they'll be able to figure it out super easily because it's literally just changing a couple values and clicking spawn enemy. And of course, with these little help boxes, so if we go ahead and remove this prefab, you'll see that we can give like little warning messages. So if something's not set up right in the tool, you can give the end user a little bit of information on what they may be missing in order to use the tool correctly. Also, one of the big things for me using custom editor tools is that you can guarantee that every single step is gonna be completed every time you run this tool. And so what I mean by that is if you were to do this all manually, of course, that would take you a long time. And if you're doing a bunch of these, you know, you might get a little bit lazy and kind of zone out a little bit and you might miss configuring a value on a couple different enemies. And you may not notice that right away and it could lead to problems down the line. But with these custom editor tools, you can run it and guarantee that everything is being set up exactly how you want it to. Let me just one last time demonstrate this. So if we just bring in this demon prefab here and let's go back to the default value. So we'll just uncheck this customize values we can click spawn enemy and they kind of spawned on top of each other right here. But as you see, we got another default enemy. And of course we can just mash this a bunch of times and spawn as many freaking enemies as we want. And it is awesome. So anyways, that's just a brief little introduction into custom editor windows in Unity. I hope with this video, you can kind of see why these things are useful and why you want to start making them in your own games. If you found this video useful and you learned something today, make sure you hit that like button. And also please subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about building your own custom Unity editor windows and different tools in the Unity editor. Of course, if you have any questions for me or suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.